हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम विक्रम फ्रॉम इजी ऑन टेक्नोलॉजीज वेलकम टू माय स्प्रिंग फ्रेमवर्क प्रोजेक्ट वर्क सीरीज इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो सेशन आई डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द कॉन्टैक्ट लिस्टिंग एंड इन दिस करंट डिस्कशन आई एम गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू द सेम सो लेट्स बिगिन सो हियर वी हैव डन द कॉन्टैक्ट लिस्टिंग जस्ट लॉग इन हियर एंड यू कैन चेक द लिस्ट ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट्स सो दीज आर दॉन्टैक्ट्स वी कैन सी हियर एंड आई एम गोइंग टू इम्प्रूव this area so let me start from the heading so i'm going to make this line header so just come to the code and this is my contact listing page and here we have done the uh, table listing so i'm going to use here th instead of td so i'm going to change this to th just a minute okay it's done now refresh the page here and this is your heading right one more thing i can add here i'm going to add here table cell padding and cell padding is this is 3 it's better you can see here change okay this is little better in fact this can be 5 okay so five is i think more three is enough okay this is enough so this is cell padding i added here now i'm going to display one message so when you save a new contact here look at this suppose i'm adding one contact here it's a mukesh and some phone number i'm going to enter and this is this is mukesh at ymail address is this is pune remark this is testing and now when you save the record you are taken to the contact list but i would like to display a message here like the contact is successfully saved and i can uh, display that message with the help of this small flag you can see this question mark here it's a query string and this is actually representing from where you came to the contact list so the action is sv stands for save so i'm going to write a small condition and display the message here properly using this query string so just do one thing this is your content area and here just below the title of this contact listing i'm going to display one condition if this is c colon if and uh, i can display here this test condition and uh, the value bind in the parameter is accessible through the param dot act and if it is equals to sv sv stands for save so if the parameter action parameter contains sv look at this if the action parameter contains sv you can display here a message in paragraph and this is the uh, i can add here a class so we have one class here success and uh, this is contact saved successfully right now do one thing add one more contact here this is pankaj and phone number is this is phone number this is pankaj at easyontech.com and address is suppose this is mumbai ms and remark is this is college friend right now save this you will see here this message look at this contact saved successfully correct so this is how we can save the messages now what else we can add here so we have tested we have tested the contact listing look at this this is the pankaj you have recently added and after that i am going to test the same process from the back end so you can add one contact from the back end directly into the table so this is my contact table you can check this so this is contact table so records so we have got the contacts here and the user who is recently logged in here is a vikram because i have used here login name just a minute run this i have used here login name v 
and this password is v123 and vikram is 1 so this is the primary key for vikram and here we have added contact user id 1 all these contacts belongs to vikram so i'm going to enter here this one represents vikram so i'm going to add one more record here so here i'm going to enter a record this is 1 and uh, this is anurag and here i'm going to add some number contact number and uh, email address is this is anurag at gmail.com and uh, add here address this is this is Pune and this is college friend so this is how we can add the details from the database directly and now save this record just apply this a record is entered here this is Anurag you have entered from the backend directly and you can check the same record here look at this Anurag so you can do the testing through multiple ways it's a good practice and one more thing I'm going to discuss here which is how to display the no record message if there is no record available for a particular user we can display here a condition so that can be done through a simple process so this is my table here I'm going to add one condition so this is C colon if one condition I'm going to add here this is test condition and uh, use EL expression and uh, this is uh, if your contact list you can check this if the contact list uh, this is like this this is empty empty check you can apply here and this is empty and contact list not this this is contact list if the uh, contact list has no items you will you can display here one message using the TR you can generate one this is TR and uh, I can add here a TD and how many uh, columns I'm going to merge here this is one two three four five six seven eight so I'm going to merge here columns this is call span 8 and display the message here and you can apply the class and this class is this is error class you can display here no records present okay so this is the message right this is correct so when there is no record available you will get this message otherwise you will get the contacts here so let's try this so we have contacts for the recently logged in user which is Vikram and now I'm going to check some more some different user who has no contacts so we can try this uh, role the second role is 2 so I think we can try this Vivek we can try this Vivek here just a minute this is Vivek and I'm going to use this Vivek and Vivek 1 2 3 just a minute please just a minute please hold on now I'm going to use this Vivek and Vivek 1 2 3 so log out from this Vivek and Vivek123 ok look at this contact list is there any contact for Vivek there is no contact available for Vivek and this is Vivek is 10 and is there any contact is there any contact for uh, the Vivek here is there any ID 10 no means you can see here no record present for Vivek you can align here center like this uh, just a minute this is align you can align here center and you can display the message like this okay so no record present for 
the Vivek. So this is how we can use different options related to the table listing. So this is enough for the discussion. Thank you very much for now and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more updates. Thank you very much and see you in next video.